Cardiac CT is now routine in many institutions where the information on the coronary status is of greatest importance for the management of patients with suspected or diagnosed coronary artery disease, CAD, the largest patient group in cardiology. Zingavia provides you with smart tools for reading your cardiac cases, whether it involves risk stratification with calcium scoring, ruling out coronary heart disease, stenosis evaluation, stent planning, functional analysis, or a complete assessment of myocardial function based on its enhancement or on quantitative dynamic CT myocardial perfusion. This movie will show you how to evaluate CT cardiac data sets using Singovia. First, make sure that the study is correctly assigned to the CT Cardiac workflow. If it isn't, right click on the study and select Open with CT Cardiac. In order to facilitate your workflow, Singovia automatically sorts the different series of the study into different steps. Assessment of coronary artery calcium burden can be used as a prognostic indicator of the patient's risk of a cardiac event. CT calcium scoring allows accurate visualization and quick quantification of calcified coronary lesions by highlighting the lesions with a pink overlay on a non-enhanced series. Scoring is easily performed for the main coronary branches by clicking or contouring around the lesions with the corresponding label. The score table is automatically updated. It provides a comprehensive analysis of the number of lesions, the calcium volume, calcium mass and Agustin equivalent score. In the next step, CT coronary, you can perform a detailed evaluation of the coronary vessels. When you open this task, Singovia has already pre-processed the images by finding the series with the best diastole, isolating the heart, segmenting and labelling the main coronary arteries and its major branches, as well as saphenous vein grafts. In the case of a multi-phase study, the remaining phases have also been pre-processed in the background so you can easily check the individual phases by selecting them from the drop-down menu or, more conveniently, by right-clicking and dragging the mouse horizontally over the MPR segments. This will help you find the series with the least motion for the different coronaries, which is especially useful for reading challenging cases. If you want to have a first look at the MPR segments, notice that you can navigate by dragging the right mouse button vertically or scrolling the mouse wheel. You can also move or rotate the reference lines to look for a specific orientation. To enhance your workflow, the Vessel Surf tool allows immediate 3D navigation even without center lines or in occluded vessels. Just select the tool, left click on the vessel you want to follow and drag the right mouse button to surf. The segments will update to display an orthogonal and longitudinal view of the corresponding vessel. A tiny pink point always shows where you are and allows you to rotate around it in all the views. One helpful tip to get the most out of this tool, change the longitudinal view to a thin MIP with 5 to 10 mm thickness. The coronary arteries and grafts which have been automatically detected are labelled and displayed as a CPR on the corresponding segments, thereby speeding up your evaluation. This view can be very helpful because it provides an overview of the complete path of the vessel and its lumen in a longitudinal view and a cross-sectional view orthogonal to the centre of the vessel. Navigation is easy. Simply drag your right mouse button horizontally over the CPR to rotate around the axis or drag the yellow reference over the vessel to navigate along the vessel. The cross-sectional segments update while the yellow reference moves to indicate the position of the framed segment. 
in the vessel definition step you can find a set of semi-automatic and manual tools in case you need to correct center lines or create additional center lines. Have a look at the CT vascular e-clip for an in-depth overview of this functionality. If quantification is needed, for example for assessing the severity of a stenosis or for planning stent placement, just click on the stenosis measurement tool on the mini toolbar. This will activate three references. Drag the yellow reference over the stenosis and the red and green references in front of and behind the stenosis as proximal and distal references. Singovia will calculate the minimum and maximum diameters for every reference and the stenosis ratio in the area and diameter by comparing the lumen on the yellow marker with the lumen on the red and green markers. The distance between the markers shown at the bottom will help you determine the stent length. Click on the Create Finding tool if you want to send the measurement to your Findings Navigator for further archiving. For reporting purposes, you can easily create radial CPR ranges with the corresponding function in the upper left corner menu. For standardization of your reporting procedure, we have created the Rapid Results step. Here you have the option to not only create a standardized report, but also to define default reconstructions that you would like to perform for every patient. For example, radial CPRs for the main coronaries or the standard cardiac angulations. Have a look at the CT vascular e-clip for more information on the rapid results feature and its configuration. In the case of multi-phase data, CT cardiac function allows you to read and diagnose CT angiography images of the left and right heart ventricles for the evaluation of cardiomyopathy. The CINE mode and the automatic orientations for standard cardiac planes, aortic valve and mitral valve will help you first make a visual assessment. If quantification is needed, all the relevant parameters such as end systolic and end diastolic volume, myocardial mass and ejection fraction are automatically calculated for both the left and the right ventricle and marked for further archiving. Local left ventricular function parameters such as wall motion, wall thickening and wall thickness are visualized in an easy to read AHA compliant 17 segment polar maps. These results can be visualized in the VRT segment by activating the hybrid view in the lower left corner menu. The perfusion evaluation step enables the simultaneous analysis of the full spectrum of myocardial perfusion data. This includes first pass and late enhancement, dual energy perfused blood volume and quantitative dynamic CT myocardial perfusion data, such as blood flow and blood volume data. All the existing series are available in the drop down list in the result gallery. To compare different evaluations, for example, stress and rest, or first pass enhancement, dynamic perfusion and late enhancement, just select one of them. The anatomic image will appear as a thumbnail and all the results available will be displayed in the result gallery as polar maps. Drag the corresponding result to one of the three columns of the layout. Proceed in the same way to compare the other evaluations. The polar map visualization and the direct overlay in short axis and long axis views help pinpoint the perfusion defect. Keep in mind that for dual energy or dynamic data, result series must be calculated and saved in advance in the dedicated workflows CT dual energy and CT myocardial perfusion. All results are conveniently collected in a report. Saving and archiving this report and the results series is as easy as completing the workflow by clicking the Save and Send button.